Clash. Number 1. If you notice clues that the enemy is very low on elixir and their win condition or tank is out of cycle, you can use them on offense with his fast speed to pressure. Number 2. Using him, skeletons, and an ice spear against the golem will prevent the golem explosion from touching your tower. Number 3. To counter a ram rider, place him in the area between the bridge and your tower. Number 4. He won't survive defending against the counter pushing P.E.K.K.A alone. Skeletons will help accomplish this for a 1 plus elixir trade. Number 5. Combining him with the electro dragon not only shreds and stuns the tank, but the electro dragon can also damage and stun the enemy support troops. Number 6. When your mini P.E.K.K.A finishes killing off a tank, you could use a Valkyrie to protect the counter pushing mini P.E.K.K.A. Number 7. If enemy support troops are giving your push a hard time, tornado them towards the offensive mini P.E.K.K.A. Number 8. When he does have a decent amount of health, you should still sometimes block off support troops with a mini tank to protect him. Number 9. Placing him here with skeletons or an ice spear allows him to counter elite barbarians for a 1 plus elixir trade. Number 10. He is able to one shot troops that are weak to fireballs, such as these. Number 11. Rather than letting him kill tank in a push, have him attack the support troops first unless swarms are nearby. Number 12. When a miner is approaching, placing him here will allow him to quickly reach the mire no matter which of these two sides of the tower he's on. Number 13. For a 2 plus elixir trade, you could use a lone mini P.E.K.K.A to counter two of the split three musketeers. Number 14. Place the mini P.E.K.K.A here before the hog rider reaches here. This allows him to kill the hog with no tower damage dealt. And number 15. He can actually be hidden right under a minion horde. Use this combo at the bridge to catch your enemy off guard.